The purpose for you now is to take your reflections and your memories and somehow express them in your final memorial. What I'm going to do is guide you along that journey, that pathway, with a few stories to help illustrate that point. Expressing your story that you want to convey into your memorial can take many different forms. You can express it through color, size, shape, finish, lettering, or design. What I'm going to provide you with is a quick overview of those expressions and the way that you can take those memories and put them in stone. One of the things that you as a family have to be aware of is the rules and regulations of the cemetery in which your memorial goes. Every cemetery has different guidelines or rules, similar to a city would have for building a home, what is allowed and what is not allowed. Size is one factor that you're going to have to determine on your memorial. How big do you want it? Well, believe it or not, you're not going to be totally in control of that decision. You must conform to the rules and regulations of your cemetery. Certain cemeteries are very restrictive on size. So you have to meet with your cemetery or authorized memorial counselor to see that the size that you choose is appropriate. Certain cemeteries allow above ground memorials. Other cemeteries require that they be flat. One of the first things that you have to make sure is that you purchase something that matches or is in compliance of that cemetery's rules or regulations. This story was sponsored by Murphy Granite in Richmond, specializing in precision granite carving, providing granite memorial design, fabrication, and installation throughout the Midwest. Don Calhoun leads a creative team at Murphy Granite that believes in capturing life's precious memories in the personalized custom design of your loved one's memorial. Unique designs can be created to give a personal touch to your memorial forever. Explore the creation of your loved one's legacy at www.murphygranite.com.